Hello, welcome to Arab Business brought to you by Levant TV. BankMed, a Lebanon-based privately owned bank, has launched operations in the Dubai International Financial Center. The bank, one of the oldest Lebanese banks, opened Dubai International Financial Center operations with a Category 1 banking license from the Dubai Financial Services Authority, becoming the first financial institution in the Middle East and North Africa region to receive the DIFC's Category 1 rating. The British subsidiary of uh, Bank of Beirut has been fined £2.1 million and barred from signing up new customers from some jurisdictions for 126 days after misleading the banking watchdog over its financial crime controls. In its first such sanction on a bank, the Financial Conduct Authority said that it had also fined two of the bank's employees after Bank of Beirut UK Limited repeatedly provided misleading information when ordered to address concerns about its financial crime systems and controls. And also with banking, Doha Bank, which prefers an organic route, has received shareholders' approval for the two billion US dollar multi tranche debt notes bonds, the first of which is expected to hit the market either this month or early next month. The bond issue, with no single deal exceeding 750 million US dollars, comes as part of its efforts to fund Qatar's long term projects it otherwise would have been difficult due to shorter liabilities of customer deposits whose maturity do not exceed one year. Oil storage capacity in the UAE port of Fujairah is expected to rise 6 million cubic meters by 2020 to around 14 million cubic meters. The port has seen a boom in storage facility building since late 2009 and now with crude oil spot prices falling uh, roughly 50% since last June, traders are now able to make money by storing oil for delivery month down the line when uh, prices are expected to be higher. And finally, Brent crude oil rose to around $61 a barrel as fighting in Libya and Iraq stoked output worries, while traders kept a close eye on Iran nuclear talks that could eventually bring more supply to world markets. Iran's foreign minister has suggested a 10-year moratorium on some aspects of the nuclear program might be acceptable, although he declined to discuss the issue in detail. That's all for today's business news. For more updates, please visit levant.tv. Thanks for watching and bye for now.